How's it going everyone? This is James Rice going to bring you a new video today and today we're going to do two, we're going to talk about two topics that are frequently asked upon me upon my uh, Instagram account or people that I may know or people that I train. They ask, well the people that I train they know one aspect of that and those two questions are what do you do for workout to get your body? Oh, and the second one is, what do you eat? That is the number one most frequently asked question asked to me, either through my Instagram or people that I may know and train. Uh, we'll go over eating first, what I usually eat per day. Um, I recently, I made a video on this channel, I'll probably leave a link to it, on the shakes I make for myself, the vegan shakes. As you guys may know, I am vegan, so I don't eat any dairy or meat products. Um, so my diet, if you want to call it, or what I, the food I consume per day, mostly are sweet potatoes that are organic and kale. Those are the main number one, two ingredients or foods that I eat in bulk per day. I probably eat around three and three and a half sweet potatoes per day to get enough carbs in my diet but I'm not gonna give you numbers on what I eat because it's it's very individualized per person on how the food reacts to you I'm just gonna tell you what works for me sweet potatoes work for me great source source of carbs I don't eat gluten because I can feel the effects and not really get the energy that I do from sweet potatoes. Kale, a lot of leafy greens, so mixed, um, whether it be mixed greens or kale is my number one source. I feel great off it, energized. I get, um, I recover quicker from my workouts. When I do the kale and sweet potato combo, I also take a lot of pea protein. So that's my number one protein. I do recommend, as you guys may know from my recent reviews, any pea protein. Um, non-GMO, organic, try around, I love Sun Warrior, shout out to Sun Warrior, that is my favorite number one vegan protein that is pea-based, the pea-based uh, protein that they do offer. Um, a lot of seeds, I don't do nuts, but I encourage you to do nuts, add some extra protein, um, it's just an allergy thing with me. Um, seeds, a lot of um, sunflower seeds, Pumpkin seeds, I love. Um, fats, I do love my hemp oil. I put that in my shakes as well. That's some good fats and keeps you going, keeps you lubed up, and uh, get those healthy, beneficial omegas in your diet. Um, what else do I put in my shakes? A lot of fruits and veggies. Uh, I said veggies before with my leafy greens and potatoes. But a lot of fruits as well, a lot of mixed berries I do add in my shakes and diet. Frozen organic. <laughs> That's all I do for now. Cheap, affordable, and great for you. Get those antioxidants, great for your skin, great for your body. Fight those free radicals. Um, what else do I add to my shakes? I do add cacao powder and then a lot of cacao powder in my diet. And then as well as camu powder, high in vitamin C keep you going, keep your immune system up better than, you know, orange juice that's concentrated, has a lot of sugar, and that just weighs you down, um, lowers your immune system, rather than help it. <laughs> so, Camu Roots, or Camu Camu, um, I think that's pretty much it as for what the bulk I do for my diet, the things I do recommend, and things I do add to my diet, um, if, any, if I remember anything from the duration of the video, I'm sure I will add it. Uh, as far let's go to workout plan. Um, let's go over it. My workout plan is very complicated yet simple. Um, I do a lot of simple exercises, compound exercises that work, whether it's squats, whether it's push-ups, whether it's pec flies with resistant bands, whether it's, you know, lateral lunges, whether it's lunges, whether it's, you know, six minute core workouts, which I also do have on this channel. If you guys want to look up for that, just look up, I think, my or workout videos, Rise Fit workout videos, or Rise workout videos. Um, 
I'm going to give you the specifics on how I train. I'm going to give you like the different workouts I do. Because um, I have a lot of that on this channel. I'll give you an example on how I do my workouts per month. I do a bodybuilding workout usually twice a week during the month. So it's like kind of body, rebuild, body rebuilding. I do a lot of um, bodybuilding exercises mixed with CrossFit exercises. It's like cross training to the most. Keep it, you know, keep it different. Keep it, don't let your body get accustomed to one different workout and the same work, workouts day in and day out and week on week and month on month. You know, you want to switch it up. That's why I do a bodybuilding workout one week and then the second week after that is an endurance week. So we do a lot of body weight exercises to with a lot of reps to keep it different. You know, a lot the max amount of push-ups you could do in a minute, whether it be, you know, doing burpees, the max amount of uh, pull-ups you could do in a minute, and so on and so forth. Keeping the rest time really low and the reps really high, but not that much resistance. Just your body weight normally. Or just light um, dumbbells for biceps or overhead extensions. Stuff like that. And then we go back to a bodybuilding exercise a week again. And then we do another endurance type exercise week. Whether it be dirty 30s with the Spartans did to train for 300. Or just an endurance workout to see how many reps you could do in a minute per, per workout. And then get like a 15 second rest and then get right back into it. Those are the type of different workouts I do. Um, top exercises I do love for sh logo for shoulders, Arnold presses for back, pull ups, and swings for the lower back. Um, these are just my top. Remember, don't, these are not the only ones I do. I'm just giving you a quick, quick fire of the exercises exercises I do love and do recommend. Um, rows are also good as well. Bicep curls. I also like. Um, hammer to where you get up the weight at 90 degrees and then twist the weight. You see how my bicep moves there? So you lift the weight up, hammer curl, and then you do a twist. Nice and controlled movement. I like dips as well, whether it be on a tire, whether it be on a table, <laughs> or a bench, or some rings. I love dips, doing dips, and overhead extensions are good as well. I do six minute abs for my core. You guys can check out those videos on this channel. I do a lot of pec flies for my chest, push ups as well, decline, incline, stuff like that. Weighted, whether a person be pushing on your back or a weighted vest or a backpack full of weights. Um, legs, I love squats. That's my number one, even though I loathe them, but I love them for the results. Also, added a lot of lunges in my work. <laughs> so those work amazing. I sorry, there was like a small glitch. And then lateral lunges doing different planes of motion are also good as well. So whether doing lunges backwards, forwards, lunges to the side, or diagonal. Those are great for your legs. Calf raises as well. Um, this is pretty much the bulk of it. Um, I think I hit probably hit every different exercise. Also, if you do have a tire... Tire flips are amazing and incorporate those in your workout. Best cardio and overall workout exercise that you will get, guarantee, even though you might get some war wounds or war scars <laughs> from it. Love it. Love the change. Love the pain because you're growing, you're changing. If it's a good pain, work through it. If it's one that's physically hurting you, stop readjust, do a lot of stretching. I uh, recommend you guys do a lot of corrective stretching, whether it's yoga or corrective stretching where you hold the poses for a bit longer and really relax and ease that tightness in those muscles. So stretch out before your workouts and make sure you do it after it as well. You will see the benefits. So uh, hopefully this video helped and clear things up. If you guys do have any questions, I'll try to get to them. We'll leave I'll leave your questions down below, and I'll get to them, hopefully. If you guys do want uh, to see more motivational things from me, if you guys want to keep up with me on social media, I do have an Instagram. 
I will leave that um, in the description box below. You guys have a great day. Remember, stay rising, stay positive, make a positive change on this world, touch someone else's lives. And remember, we need more healers, more self-motivators, more motivators in this world than successful people. You can be successful and do the most. Do all of it. But make sure you help your fellow man and help each other. That's what we need more in this world. Less hate, more love. One love. Stay risen.